Well, the Jim Crow era is not only about voting rights. It is about segregation and, and the violent um, implementation of that segregation. Voting rights restrictions were an important part of the Jim Crow toolbox. Uh, things like poll taxes, having to pay money in order to vote. Uh, the literacy test, which was not just whether or not you were literate. Um, the person that administered the literacy test largely had open uh, ability to deny anybody. And those were targeted at uh, poor people and people that were illiterate. Uh, so to, in order to allow the white population to vote, uh, the grandfather clause was added, which said that if your grandfather was allowed to vote, then you were allowed to vote as well. You see, and here's the thing. The poll tax, the literacy test, and the grandfather clause never explicitly said that African Americans were prevented from voting. These were colorblind laws that were targeted towards one particular population. So when we talk about the idea that laws should be colorblind, sometimes that can also lead to discrimination. So without the right to vote, African Americans couldn't protect themselves through their state governments. They couldn't elect people to the federal government to protect themselves. So um, all of this was designed to implement and keep in place that second class citizenship that's going to go all the way up into the 1960s. We talked before about generational wealth and it's during this time period that we can see that African Americans are going to fall even further behind because of their increasingly difficult economic conditions. Um, the soil is going to become exhausted. They're in the sharecropping um, contracts. Uh, cotton prices are going to fall. All of this leads to generational poverty. And then once the textile mills and all the other factories start coming into the South, there's discrimination in hiring practices. So again, they're the, the last to be hired, the first to be fired. These are all issues that lead African Americans to fall even further into poverty. Some of this is going to lead to migration north, but um, these are the issues that while they are in the late 18 and early 1900s, these are issues that still have tentacles all the way up into the modern era.